I uh, shifted across to Western Australia when I was three to live with my mum in Kalgoorlie, doing some wrong stuff with, with some cousins, going down the wrong path. And my mum, she shifted me across to Melbourne uh, just for a life change and we've been here ever since, so it's been good. Uh, my dad came across and seen me playing soccer and said, no, he doesn't want anything to do with soccer. So he put me into football, which is, uh, I was 10, I think I was. So he put me into footy when I was 10. I didn't get picked up in the uh, in the national draft, but then Carlton rang me up and said, come and train with us, we'll give you a go. And they ended up picking me up on the uh, pre-season at number three, which was put me straight on the senior list, which was good. And you know, you can make something out of your life if you're willing to take that, that extra step. Because um, that's obviously what I did. I you know, moved away from all the bad habits and shifted across to Melbourne and made something with my life. And I didn't even go to school really. I couldn't read and write when I got drafted. I was taking literacy and numeracy classes for the first three years. So yeah, so just go back and tell them my story and hopefully, hopefully that would help them. With Yaz, Yaz and Jeff, I think it just comes naturally because they're both indigenous and so we, we seem to stick together a lot. Because of that, Dennis Armfield played at Swan Districts as well, so they were close to Yaz, and Yaz was obviously close to me. So Dennis was close to Aaron Joseph. So then they came together as a group, and then Kane Lucas just uh, <laughs> just, just loves to hang around uh, the boys and you know get, get, get involved with the boys. And Robbo just, Robbo, like what can I say? Robbo thinks he's black, to be honest. <laughs> he, uh, he, yeah, he hangs around us a lot, you know, he's, he's a good character, he's, well, he's crazy, that's what I can say about Robbo, you know, you need a bit of crazy in your group. Um, we met through, well we met through a friend and then I didn't really give him a bar of it for about 12 months and then I think we caught up again and then from then it was, yeah, it was it. <laughs> Five years later we have this little tucker. <laughs> so I'm deeply in love with me. And with his own son, he's amazing and, and I think that that's one of the most beautiful things is that you just see the way he is with Lewis and he's just the best dad, he's so good. Mostly now I just think about my son, you know, it's just uh, that brings, brings that little bit of smile to my face. So I've got Anna and Lewis and that's about it and then then the boys are my second family in Carlton so yeah they obviously mean a lot to me.